Yo, what's up guys? It's Young Jody. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make plug melodies for La Tyler. I've been sending out a ton of loops and beats lately for La Tyler, and I thought it'd be a good idea if I break one down in this video. So yeah, this beat actually has been sent out to La Tyler directly. I haven't heard nothing about him getting on it, but you never know. This could be a La Tyler song right now. All right, so this here is just a melody. This is what that sounds like. So the first plugin I grabbed was Zebra. The preset that I actually chose was similar to the preset that was used for Law & Order. As you can see, it's right here. This is what it sounds like. The one that I chose was Add Pad version 2. As for the chord, it's very simple. I just skipped one white note in between. All you have to do is set your scale highlighting. So for this beat, it's in B minor. So I just started on B and just wrote a regular chord where you skip one note in between. And then I just raised it up one. To spread it out same thing for this chord for the effects i went with an eq just cutting out a little bit of high end and low end and a reverb next thing i chose was a Rhodes preset and fl keys i added some top notes it's barely even noticeable i just chose notes that i thought highlighted the chord the effects i threw on a reverb and an imager and that's pretty much it that's not even turned up too much next i chose this arp that's a nexus i just lost a half time and a eq on that and that's just playing the main chords. Then I duplicated this Nexus and grabbed a mallet. I kept it routed to the same mix channel. And I just extended the top notes to play on the downbeat. This is what that sounds like. It makes for a really good accent. Next, I grabbed the infamous Nexus bell. I just played this melody. This is what that sounds like in the mix. After that, I laid down the space. Pretty simple. I just lowered the velocity on this one note to kind of make it bounce. For the mix, I threw on my go-to, I guess, synth bass chain. It's just slight distortion and a bass boost. And then, of course, I had to add the... No effects on that. You could just search in your mixer, wah, and see if you have some of these samples. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the melody. Here's the project file for the beat. I'm going to show you a preview of the beat now. Jody. Jody. So the first thing I started with was the uh, hi-hats and the snare. This is what that sounds like. Pretty typical, just a two-step, bounce the velocities a little bit, you know, just like a triplet roll. Just on one-third step, just put the brush on that. Pretty simple stuff. I just threw a clap in there for some bounce. I just duplicated that. I had a cowbell. That's not a cowbell. And of course, the per control. Again, just bouncing velocities. And for probably the most interesting part of the beat, the bass. Grabbed a regular 808, turned up the out knob, didn't do anything here. And I just duplicated it and just tweaked with the reversing until it sounded solid. Both these 808s have the envelope on hold, so I'm able to put between the 808s once I cut the note off. So this one here is the regular 808, and this one is the reverse 808. So yeah, this is what that sounds like. Lastly, I threw in this kick. Got an artist, man. He got the hardest drums. But I just boosted it in here with these effects. And I just laid it down like this. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys did learn something new. If you did, definitely leave a comment down below. Show some support. Leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.